Hello and thank you for joining me for your daily read. So today we're taking a look at the past is calling. So we are going to find out who or what from your past is currently calling you, why you're being called to look at this, uh, what it is that you're needing to do to help heal your past and what releasing your past is going to do for you, your spirit and your well-being moving forward, okay? And then, of course, we're also going to take a look at how you can connect with your present moment. Um, so if you just give me a minute while I sort out your deck, we're going to start getting into this energy for you. What's going on for our collective, please? Okay. Okay, so your current overall energy is the King of Swords. Interesting. So this is Aquarius energy. You could be an Aquarius or you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Take the Zodiac information with a grain of salt, okay? This one's all about mental clarity, okay? It's using your intellectual power. Um, you could be planning something. You could be in the planning stages of something. This can also indicate communication, okay? Serious communication, um, being firm but fair. That's all King of Swords energy, okay? This is someone who is trying to use their head over their heart to make a decision, okay? So... At at this point in time, you, you try not to become too emotionally involved with something to do with your past or a situation from your past that is calling for you to look at it. It's like you've recognized that you need to keep your standards high. And there's also something about your integrity that, that's coming through as well. Okay, so it's like you know that if you were to become emotionally pulled back into a situation from your past, that is going to impact on your integrity, okay? Um, it could possibly also confuse um, how how you think about things so it, it could impact on your reasoning skills and being logical. So with this being your current overall energy, it's like you're trying to tackle this situation from the past that is calling to you in a non-emotional manner, okay? Right, so what or who from your past are you dealing with? The sun, this is Leo energy. You could be a Leo, you could be dealing with a Leo. Um, but this this one usually is about positivity okay happiness joy success is literally the happiest card in tarot um so there, there's a message about y your happiness or what it was that used to make you happy um it could have been the person that you used to be you know may maybe there's a little bit of analyzing who you used to be so perhaps you used to be someone who is very um outgoing someone who is very confident someone who was um genuinely really quite happy okay that's how this one feels to me why are you being called to look at this okay so yeah why are you being called to look at who who I think you used to be and, and sort of wishing that you could go back to being that person, you know, sort of happy, free, um, happy, go lucky, you know, that sort of energy with the sun. Why are you being called to look at this? The nine of coins. OK, so this is all about your achievements, your success in life. Nine of coins is someone who is very um, reliable, self self-sufficient, very dependable. OK, um, this is also about not needing anyone else's validation. OK, so I do feel that there's a message here to do with how you're validating your own experiences. OK, or you're needing to validate your own experiences, which is why Spirit is wanting for you to look at this energy from your past. OK, look at who who you used to be, how confident you used to be, um, how secure within yourself you used to be. Um, and, and there's this sort of essence of the need to go back to that kind of with this one okay 
Um, okay, so what you're needing to do to heal your past. The Three of Swords, interesting. So this is an ongoing situation. Um, so first of all, you're needing to grapple the ongoing situation that is contributing to your three of swords which is grief anxiety stress worry disappointment um it can be depression as well some somebody here might have slipped into a depression and they're trying to analyze why am i feeling depressed what's gotten me to this point you know so again this is all about processing the emotions that, that you're currently feeling with this three of swords okay um again heartache depression feeling broken trauma okay some kind of trauma that, that you're needing to look at because there's an eye okay so no longer avoiding traumatic experiences that happened okay no longer rug sweeping basically um th this is going to be the only way that that you can heal your past and process the past okay no longer rug sweeping and actually really looking at it looking at what's happened looking at why why you changed or why you had to change why you had to become someone different from who you used to be okay um no longer running from those feelings again ties in with that king of swords energy being your current overall energy it's like you, you know what i don't want to get emotionally involved with this thing from my past because if i do that i'm going to lose all sense of self i'm, I'm going to become erratic i'm you know so this is all about keeping things in balance okay um acknowledging your trauma and traumatic experiences acknowledging your pain and your grief and that is completely and totally different from someone who is wallowing in self-pity okay it's completely different things so with this energy it's like well first of all you have to acknowledge that that trauma or that traumatic incident is there okay that, that it is now part of you and it's making room like internally it's making room for those traumas rather than those traumas overwhelming you it's making room for it instead okay um because it's like i'm always saying look and and there is a lot of this that goes on out there in the spiritual community and i'm sick to the back teeth of it as well it's like oh you have to be completely healed before you can move on with your life na 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 it's bullshit that is setting unrealistic expectations on 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 people like it it's not real it's not a real thing right healing and recovery is a lifelong process okay there isn't a single person on the planet who can sit there and go i am a hundred percent healed from all of this crap that's happened to me throughout my lifetime you know i i'm a hundred percent healed from all of that that never bothers me anymore it's bullshit it's so utterly unhealthy way of teaching okay healing is a lifelong process what you do with trauma is you make room for it it says that it doesn't consume you and says that it doesn't overwhelm you and says that your actions and, and your emotions and your decision making in your day-to-day -day life isn't coming from this traumatic place okay when you make room for it you'll find that you are going to be able to um integrate with, with other people in a healthy way instead of all of that trauma being projected out onto everyone else yeah which, which i'm fairly certain the vast majority of you have actually known people like that who haven't been able to make space for their trauma and who have uh, metaphorically vomited over everyone else that they then come into contact with yeah because they never made room for that trauma so then it becomes everyone else's problem yeah this entire channel is built on the, on the premise of dealing with trauma and shit that happens to us in our lives dealing with all of that in a healthy way without these unrealistic expectations okay 
We don't do that here. Everybody is hurt from something. Everyone has had a traumatic experience from something. Some have had more frequent traumas happen to them. But ultimately, there's not a single person on the planet that can sit there and go, I'm 100% healed. And I'm telling you, if anybody tells you that, that's a red flag straight away. Because that tells you straight away that they haven't made room for their shit. They, they've not made room for it. They've not processed it. They're ignoring it. They're running from it. They're pretending it's not there. And I'm telling you, that's going to come out. It, it, it's going to come out. Some way, somehow, it will. Okay? So this is what you're needing to do in order to heal your past. Acknowledge that that shit's there. Make room for it. And absolutely do not set unrealistic expectations for yourself. Okay? So, what's, uh, when you've done that, once you've made room for it, you've processed what you can, you've made room for what you can, you've released what you can. Once you've done all that, what's going to happen to, to your spirit and to your self-development then, moving forward, is the three of ones. Progress. <laughs> Expansion. Confidence. It's um, finding new horizons. Your three of ones is rapid growth and expansion. It, it's reaching a really significant and important milestone in your life. Okay. See, see how this individual has chosen one of these staffs that she is then going to move forward with. And these other two staffs, they're, they're not required. They're not required at this time. So she's going to leave them there for the time being. It, it's not required right now. Okay. Take only what you need. Okay, it's that kind of energy. Looking forward to the future. Making plans for the future. Because your three of wands is also kind of like a, f a future proofing. Okay. So you will find that you're going to make a lot more progress in your life once you've made room for this here. Okay. Stop running from it. How you can connect with your present moment, the four of swords. It's time to reevaluate something. This can also indicate meditation, so yeah, you very likely could connect with the present moment via uh, meditation. Now, again, there's <laughs> something else I see all the time. Meditation, that can look really, really different from one person to the next. What is meditation for you? For some, it's going to be lying down on their bed and, and just allowing their thoughts to move like a slideshow across their mind. For others, meditation could be sewing, knitting. It, it could be diamond art. It, it could be anything. Anything that keeps your hands busy. That's incredibly good meditation. And then for some, it's going to be sitting on the floor cross-legged with dolphin music playing in the background, <laughs> you know? Meditation is different for everybody. That there's not that there are no hard and fast rules when it comes down to meditation. It literally just means go within. Going within and listening to the answers that come from within. That's meditation. Okay? It can be a, a big ceremony with with music and incense, or it can just be your own private little deal, you know? Everyone's different. Everyone's got their own frame of how to create peace in their life. Okay? Connect to the present moment via meditation. And that is going to help you to reevaluate quite a lot of things. It's taking some time in solitude. Okay? It's gathering your thoughts. It's giving yourself space and time and permission for recuperation. Okay? Creating your own little corner of sanctuary within your home, you know? Anything peaceful. It's beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to pull you a healing message. 
And then we'll finish off the read with one of the funny decks. Okay. You have a healing message for our collective, please. Truth. Moon rising and truth. Oh. Okay. Check check this one out. It says there is no hiding when this card comes up. And isn't that appropriate? The truth is going to come out, or maybe it already has, but you still need to face up to it. As Buddha was reported to have said, three things cannot be hidden, and that is the sun, the moon, and the truth. When this card comes up, the only thing to do is to be scrupulously honest with yourself face facts maybe you need to show your true feelings a little more maybe there is a situation that you need to be more honest about are you showing how you feel or are you hiding what is the truth of your situation are you being honest with yourself and everyone else if you are then this card is a positive omen telling you that everything is going to work out just fine because the truth will out there is also a sense with this card that the truth will be exposed sooner rather than later. So it shouldn't be too long before the issue that you're wrestling with will be resolved. But make sure that you're absolutely transparent and truthful. So I'm reading that as it's possible for some. Um, okay, number one, th there could be a small group of people here who are carrying some kind of guilty conscience surrounding something that they did from the past and now the truth is coming out about that okay and so someone's needing to face the truth about what they were responsible for in the past okay and once that has been faced you can then process it and move forward from that point on and no longer have this thing hanging over your head like a like a dark cloud that's been following you basically and then for the other group of people is reading to me as something traumatic happened to you that stole your confidence it stole your optimism it stole the plans that you once had for your future and so you had to grieve for a future that you never got to experience okay and the person responsible for doing that to you is um the, the one who is bringing this back up to the surface again in your present day moment okay um so it's reading to me like whatever they try to conceal that they did to you um, that, that caused this depression, they are having to face that, okay? They're, they're having to be transparent about the part that they played in your traumatic experience, okay? So for example, if someone lied after they did this abusive thing to you and they lied about it to save their own skin then that's what's coming out okay again you've got to take this energy as it resonates okay because it is absolutely going to be resonating from different angles for different people okay so you've got to use your discernment whenever you're watching general readings okay bottom line the truth will out so whatever side of the fence you're sitting on for that take it for what it is okay the truth will out um additional meanings for this card you're about to get your answer tough love is needed honesty is the best policy someone's untruth will soon be exposed yeah i told you didn't i someone's lies are going to be exposed for exactly what they are and avoid any tellers of tall tales okay so it could also be collective the this week you you're having a conversation with an individual who reminds you of someone else who abused you in the past 
okay um because of the types of lies that they tell um because of their whole energy is is all about look at me look at me look at me i've done this i i'm a professional this that and the next i'm a successful this that and the next and sort of them really overplaying their hand okay and it, it's that energy that they come from is going to remind you of the abuser fr from your past okay so avoid tellers of tall tales okay avoid anyone that you know is deliberately causing drama stirring drama um listen if you can feel deep down that someone is lying to you then they are lying to you okay um be cautious of anybody trying to gaslight your own version of events, your own experiences. Remember what I said about how you're needing to validate your own experiences, okay? To hell what everyone else thinks, all right? Especially if they've all been lied to. You, you need to validate your own experiences, okay? Definitely. Uh, the moon rising sounds romantic, but this symbol has a slight edge to it, as though a secret will not be a secret for much longer. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. It's um, revealing. Very, very revealing. Okay, right, let's pull from the funny deck. Um, I think this one's called Spiritual AF. Please don't quote me on that. I think it is. Yeah, it is. Spiritual AF. Um, just in case anyone's interested in what decks I'm using. The Moonology deck that I've just used as well, that was a very generous gift from Elliot. Thank you, Elliot. Uh, yeah, so... That's the decks that we've used today. Okay, what guidance have you got for our collective, please? Wow, you got two. Namaste. <laughs> I love that one. Namaste. The sleigh in me recognizes the sleigh in you. At some point, you've got to get up and act like the people that you admire. You probably know someone who is slaying at life right now. So spend today doing the shit that they do. Better yet, take them to coffee and ask them exactly how they managed to slay so hard. And then recognize where you are capable of the same kind of slay. Yeah. So that's like, um, who, who is it that you look up to? Do, do you have a, uh, do, do, is there somebody that you admire, you know? Um, and obviously it's not about, em it's not about emulating them. It's not about copying them or morphing into them. It's nothing like that. This is about, okay, why do you admire that particular person? What qualities do they have that, that you admire? And then how can you incorporate those qualities in your own day-to-day -day life? Okay. And <laughs> call bullshit on your bullshit. Uh, want to get out of a rut? Then the first step is to get tired of the bullshit. Your bullshit, their bullshit, the world's bullshit. Spend today honing your sense of deja vu. <laughs> Once you can spot the old shit, you can start to stop that old shit. Yeah. Repeating patterns. Okay. Either like, are, are there any unhealthy repeating patterns that you yourself have or can you see unhealthy repeating patterns in a certain other person okay and call bullshit on the bullshit um yeah let's get you one more actually what else for our collective please so i feel that the energy from the past is to do with triggers okay rather than an actual person from your past popping up again. It doesn't feel like that. This one feels more to do with triggers, okay? Old triggers that, that are being pulled up by 
to someone else. Okay, the blessing of letting go. Free yourself from negative entanglements by letting go of emotional ties, beliefs and outdated ways of thinking that no longer serve you. You have the power, yeah. That which you let go will transform into an endless blessing. Yeah, that's exactly what I was saying about um, not allowing your inner demons, if you will, you know, like your traumatic experiences, not allowing those experience uh, to dictate who you are now as a person. Okay. Oh, <laughs> random. So you can see as well how you've got like these water droplets and everything. So it, like the, there's a strong um, energy here of new growth, of cleansing as well for you. Okay. And then you've got infinite blessing. Blessings flow to and from you, endlessly expanding in all directions, filling you with the healing light that guides you upon your blessed path. Rainbow light flows from your heart, creating infinite peace. Yeah, some heart chakra work. Okay. Not allowing the cruelness of others turn you into someone who is cold and, and shut off. Okay. Rainbow light flows from your heart. Maybe, maybe you could imagine that while you're doing your meditations. Okay. Um, because mental imagery while you're meditating is, can be really, really powerful. So I, I feel that, that what's going to help is for you to imagine rainbow light flowing from your heart and creating like this energetic bubble, if you will, around you. Okay. Beautiful heart healing energy, though. Um, but yeah, that is what I have for you today. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to go check out your other signs and, of course, all of the other daily readings as well. Um, if you resonate with any of the titles of any of the other reads, then you can be fairly confident that that is going to be your read, okay? Because I do not clickbait my titles. I do not see the point in doing that, okay? Um, the titles are really, really important. The titles, it comes from something that I actually did say during your read, okay? And it's like, well, how else are people going to know if they resonate with the read or not if the title has been clickbaited, okay? Um, it, it's a silly practice, but there we go. Um, but yeah, any of the titles of any of the other reads, okay? If you identify yourself with those titles, that's going to be your read. Um, personal readings, they are available on my website. Um, I, I've hit a bit of a thing at the moment where things are incredibly busy, but I will absolutely always, always, always get back in touch with you, okay? Um, private readings, you can book one on my website, which is phoenixkiatarot.com. The link for that is in my description box below, okay? Um, but yeah, you, you definitely want to get booked in soon so that you can get so that you can get on the list, basically. Um, but yeah, thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.